Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Travel Tech. So before you watch the rest of the video, make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button of Travel Tech right away and also do not forget to like this video because in this video I'm going to show you one of the finest updates which you can use in your Android car stereo system and make it go wireless. Well yes, if you're tired of using USB cables in order to use your Android Auto and if your car system does not support wireless Android Auto, the update which I'm going to give you will solve all of those problems and you'll be able to use wireless Android Auto seamlessly and in the most easy manner. So let's not waste any time and let's dive down straight into the video and show you what are the requirements for this update, how you can install it and what are the things you need to do in order to download this particular update. So let's get started. So guys, first things first, as you're seeing right now, I have opened up the Google Maps on my smartphone and I have currently navigated to a certain place. Now this is the Android car stereo system which I have and this is a Woodman Xtreme 1.0. So all I need to do is go ahead and open up the Bluetooth of my phone and just wait for a few seconds. So as you're seeing right now, the Bluetooth has opened and it is currently scanning for any of the Bluetooth devices available. Now this is going to connect to my Android car stereo system automatically and I don't have to do anything. So as you're seeing right now, the Z-Link app opened up automatically, I didn't do anything and the Android Auto is going to also pop up on the screen automatically. It's going to be a matter of maybe 5 to 10 seconds maximum and you don't have to do literally anything in order to open up the Android Auto on your Android car stereo system and this is one of the fastest and the easiest way available to access Android Auto on your car stereo. So as you're seeing right now on the left there is a Spotify screen and on the right you have the Google Maps and in case if I go ahead and click on the Google Maps it opens up the entire page dedicated specifically for Google Maps and if I want to go ahead and uh, pop in into Spotify so here's the Spotify button and if I want both of them on the screen at the same time I can always go ahead and click on the multi window button and it is going to pop up in a multi window. So this is one of the most amazing and most cool features of the Android Auto Cool Walk which is currently available everywhere and in case if you haven't watched my video on Android Auto Cool Walk you will find the link for that in the description of this video. So guys this is the greatest advantage of having a Z-Link 5 app and upgrading your Android car stereo system if you have an Android T5 Android car stereo or if you have a Woodman Xtreme 1.0 Android car stereo system just the way which I do. So before showing the exact update procedure, let me disconnect Android Auto so I can go ahead and show you the exact Z-Link app. So if I head into the app section and click on the Z-Link 5 button currently right here, it is still showing up the Android Auto, it hasn't, it hasn't disconnected, well there you go. Now currently it has disconnected and as you're seeing on the screen right now, this is the Z-Link 5 app and uh, this is a very beautiful app I think. It shows on the display both the Android Auto and the Apple CarPlay screens on the screen and it keeps toggling between the two. There is also a screen mirroring option that is a wired mirroring. So I'll be making a dedicated video for this specifically and it's going to pop up very soon on my channel as well. So there is a wired mirroring and there is also a wireless mirroring option for both iPhone and Android as well. So you have the wired mirroring, wireless mirroring, wired and wireless both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto after you get this particular update. So if you head into the settings of the Z-Link 5, so this is the settings menu and on top you find the driver position option which I have selected as right because I am sitting currently in the right side of the car. There is a floating navigation button which gives a small floating window for the Z-Link 5 and then following that there is a HD option which renders the Android Auto in a high definition and most of the icons and letters become a bit smaller due to the high definition so I have currently disabled it. And this is the background correction guys. So this is a very important correction because if you want the Android Auto to start immediately as soon as you get in the car, this background connection needs to be enabled and that's why I have currently enabled it. And the default connection type is the last mode. So if I go ahead and click on that, link mode, mirroring mode and last mode, you have three options. So currently I have selected it as last mode. And here is the check for updates option. And in this, you can go ahead and see that this is currently a 5.2.17 version. So as you're seeing right now, this is a version 5.2 and this is the latest version of the Z-Link 5. And if we go into the about section, as you can see, this is the version 5.2.17 and the copyright year is 2021. So now let's go ahead and show you what you need to do in order to install this Android Auto update. So first of all, guys, scroll down from the top notification bar and head into your Android car settings. So as soon as you head into your Android car settings, you're going to get a settings menu. So let me go ahead and zoom in a bit so that you find it convenient to see. 
So guys, at the bottom, as you can see, if you scroll down, there is a about car device button right here, and it's written as T5 powered by all winner. So if I go ahead and click on that, so okay, again on top, you're going to see an option called T5 powered by all winner. So this is very important guys you have to make sure that this is a t5 model because this update is not going to work on any other models except this t5 model and the woodman extreme 1.0 so once you confirm that this is a t5 model you can go ahead and start up the update so once you have downloaded the update file to your pc or your laptop copy it into a pen drive so in this case i have the update in this sony 32 gb pen drive now i'm currently going to go ahead and connect it to my usb port down here so as you can see i'm going ahead and connecting the pen drive into the usb port so as soon as i connected the head unit reloaded app detected the storage media well currently i'm going to go ahead and click on the cancel button so i'll head into the file manager or the file explorer of my android system head into the file manager and as you can see guys here on top you can find the option as u disk so as you can see here is the u disk option if i go ahead and click on the u disk button so this is my pen drive currently which is showing up on the Android car stereo system. And as you can see guys, here is the update zip file, which I have already copied into my pen drive. And it is going to show up in a similar manner for you in your Android car system as well. So make sure that the pen drive is showing the update file on the Android car system. So that's it guys. Once it is showing up the update file right there. So just head back, scroll down and then head into the car setting of your Android car stereo system. So here is the car setting. So make sure that the car setting menu of your car also resembles exactly the same way to what I'm showing you on the screen right now. So there will be two setting options on top that is a general setting and system setting. So make sure this is showing up in a similar manner. So then head into the system setting option on the right. And then once you head into the system setting, click on the system update option on the left menu. So as soon as you click on the system update, it is going to provide you some information here and this is that update system with the update file in external storage media. So here it is showing the update file and uh, as you can see it is showing as MNT Media RW UDisk update.zip is available. So this is very important and you have to make sure that this update.zip file is available. This comes written on the screen and as you can see at the bottom there is a start update button. So if I go ahead and click on the start update. Again, it is going to ask you update the whole system. You cannot reverse this action. So you have to click on the start update button two times, not once. And once you click on the start update button again, it is going to start up the update and it's going to take some time, maybe two to three minutes, depending on the speed of your system. And uh, once the update completes, you will get to the home screen of the Android car stereo system like this. So make sure that the Android car stereo system of your car is powered up the whole time. Otherwise, it is going to hang and cause disturbance in the update process and your Android car stereo system might get bricked and you might not be able to recover it. So make sure that the stereo system is always powered up during the update process for up to 5 to 10 minutes maybe. And make sure that the update process completes successfully. Only then you can disconnect the power from your Android car stereo system. So this is the entire update process. So once you are updated, you are going to go ahead and uh, see the Z-Link 5 new updated software in your Android car stereo system. So in case if you are having a Woodman stereo and if you have a Agama car launcher as stock, the most important thing to notice is that the Agama car launcher will get deleted and you will have to reinstall it back again and you will have to enter the user ID password back again in order to get into the full version of the Agama car launcher in case if you are using a Woodman Extreme 1.0. And for any other T5 Android car stereo system, you get this particular home screen and you can scroll down the home screen very easily and most of the usage pattern will be very much similar to what you had previously. So this is the entire update process guys and uh, this is a very simple and a very easy process. So now that you've seen all the requirements needed for this update and how you have to install this, well let me just remind you once back again this needs a T5 Android system or a Woodman Xtreme 1.0 system which is again a T5 Android system and if you have a Z-Link app which is version 3 well I think you can definitely upgrade to a version 5 which I have shown in this video and in order to download this you need to do only two things so just look down on this video as you can see there is a super thanks button right below the name of the channel so just go ahead click down on the super thanks button and drag the slide bar towards the right till you reach the point of rupees 500 you can also contribute more if you are willing to do so click on the buy or the send button and once you send the comment successfully head on to the facebook page of travel tech and send me a dm right there well if you're having difficulty finding the facebook page the link to it will be given in the description of this video so as soon as your contribution is confirmed 
I'll send you the zip file on the Facebook DM. You can then download it to your PC or your laptop and then follow the procedure which I just showed you now. So this is the entire process which you need to follow in order to get the update file and I hope many of you will make use of it. So guys tell me what do you think of this video, how helpful you found this video to be and if it did help you make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button of Travel Tech right away and also do not forget to like this video. Many more interesting videos coming up in the future. So thank you for watching and until next one, see ya.